What's up guys? Welcome back to Ghostlands Games and I can't get a smile off my face because I'm having way too much fun with this story. Um, so, welcome back to another SAIF theory video. Uh, we're continuing the story of the final boss fight and the decisions that you've made or make in the game. And on top of that, or more specifically, we are talking about the death of Koharu but side b the previous video was side a we're talking about side b now and if you don't know what i'm talking about at all and this is the first time catching these videos make sure to go back watch the first video watch all of them in order i'm gonna put them on a playlist for you guys and let's talk about the or continue to talk about the death of koharu and your other decision so make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and let's get into this All right, so last time we killed Koharu, we go to fight Akihiko Kayaba, and we're given a choice. At the end of the fight, we're given a choice to join him or fight to the death. Well, if you decide that you want to join him and and you don't want to fight for the fight to the death, because let's let's be honest, you just killed Koharu. You're by yourself now. You killed your, who who was your best friend uh, throughout the entire thing, throughout the all 100 floors, however long that will take. So you really don't care about anybody else if you kill Koharu. So damn everybody else. But you're curious now. What would happen if you join Kayaba? What is he offering you to join him? So. You're given that option. You think about it for a moment. And you actually decide you want to go through with it. Well, you go through with that option. This will lead you down another ending. Your ending again. Because all of these all of these outcomes are from your decisions. Your decisions in your game. Now, I've said this before. My nose is freaking itching me. That's not what I said before. Um, I've said this before that... We play the game, we are the main character. All the decisions that we make is our decision. Or the skip button's decision, because then that'll make the decisions for us. So anyways, you go through the game, and you get to this point, and you decide you want to join Kayaba. Well, you join him, and he tells you that the purpose of this was an experiment. To see who would make it to the top, who would be the one to surpass all others well that was you unfortunately and the reason why unfortunately because you now being the person that you are the person who killed koharu who killed yui who stand atop everybody else and you took everybody out of your own way because you don't care about anybody else you thought you did everybody thought you did but once it came to it to the very end at the top, where Kirito and everybody else was defeated by Kayaba and you were supposed to be the one to save everybody, you killed Koharu, you killed Yui in doing so, and you have made the most selfish, de selfish decisions that you could possibly make in this game, leading you to this point, where Kayaba then tells you, nobody will be set free. In fact, Nobody will ever be able to go out again. At that moment, the screen goes black. Flashes to Kayaba's face with a grinning evil smile. He turns the dial to intensify the pain. And he stabs you through the heart. One hit kill. And as he does so, he tells you... It's unfortunate that you were the one who made it here. Because he was hoping for the people's survival. The ones who were left anyways. And now thanks to your decisions, everybody will be stuck here. For all eternity. 
or at least until they find some way to reverse what you have done. As soon as he kills you, screen goes black, you hear a laugh, credits roll, you're sent back to the first town because you're stuck in the game. You just chose the worst ending that you will continuously repeat over and over and over in your own personal hell. No matter how many times you defeat Akihiko Kayaba or go to that final fight because you won't get to defeat Akihiko Kayaba because every single time you will join his side because that is your hell. That is where your decisions took you. And Koharu will no longer be by your side in the game. Because she's not there. You killed her. And everybody in the game is trapped with you. You'll still be able to run the events like everybody else in the game. You'll still interact with the players, of course. Because that's, you know, how the MMOs are. You reach the end and you get to just continuously run different things. Whatever new events pop up or whatever. But you won't be able to change your decisions. You made them. You've made your bed, now you get to lie in it. And there's no way out. You're stuck. Everybody's stuck. The other characters will always mention it. They will always resent you for it. They will still fight by your side as assist characters. They will still interact with you in story events. But they won't be as friendly. Every now and then they'll, they'll slide in a remark because of decisions that you've made on every event. Anytime you interact with them on the friendship level, whatever level you have the friendship at won't matter. They'll join you because they don't have anything better to do. And they'll remark that. They won't be happy to join you. They'll just tell you, well, I don't have anything else to do. So why not? Because they pray for death at that point. They want to be free of that prison that you sent them in. Or they want to find a way to reverse everything that you've done. Which is not going to happen. Because you trapped him there. So that is the bad ending that I could see happen in this game if, you know, if all this occurred. But with that out of the way, we have more endings to talk about. So make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of this ending, the bad ending so to speak the true bad ending because there's a bad good ending which we spoke about last video so i will catch you all in the next video you guys have a great rest of your day until then peace out guys